Hey, it's Brian Curtis with CSTV. The Alamo Bowl features two teams whose seasons can best be described as what-ifs and what-could-have-beens. Texas A&M and Penn State had high expectations heading into 2007, but neither team could win enough big games to make it further than the Alamo Bowl. Texas A&M has said goodbye to coach Dennis Francione after a tumultuous season on and off the field. And new coach Mike Sherman will be running the show, though Gary Darnell will coach in the bowl game. Quarterback Stephen McGee played well, but not well enough this year, and the Aggies lost three of their last four games, although they did salvage a win over rival Texas. Now, Joe Paterno's Nittany Lions once again had a solid defense, led by linebacker Dan Connor, but the defense failed them in three of their four losses, giving up 27, 37, and 35 points. Quarterback Anthony Morelli threw 18 touchdowns, but Penn State didn't convert enough third and longs in their losses. So what happens when two teams with unfulfilled goals meet in a late December bowl game? Well, for one, this one should be low scoring. With weeks to prepare, the defenses will be ready, and both offenses are pretty predictable. I think Penn State comes out on top, with the defense picking off a few passes and Connor having a huge game. For Texas A&M, the fall 2008 season can't come soon enough. For more sports and news, log on to CSTV.com.